All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use trig functions to find the sides of a right triangle. Um, you can use this trig function several places in carpentry. Um, if you want to look at my videos for staircases and look at my videos for figuring out dormers, you will be using these trig functions to find angles and sides of right triangles okay so these only work if you have a right triangle so if you don't have a right triangle these won't work okay so how do we use these trig functions all right so the first thing is what do they stand for okay so the first thing is s stands for sine c is for cosine and t is for tangent o stands for opposite, A stands for adjacent, adjacent, okay, and H stands for hypotenuse, okay. Now, what is the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is always the long side of the right triangle. That is always the hypotenuse. The other two sides can either be the opposite side or the adjacent side depending on which angle you're working with. Okay, So if I'm working with this angle, then this is the adjacent side, this is the opposite side. Okay, If I'm working with this angle, then this angle becomes the adjacent side and this side becomes the opposite side. So the adjacent meaning next to, and then opposite means, like it always, it's on the opposite side of the room, it's on the other side, okay? So, in order for these to work, you have to have two things. You have to have two sides, or you have to have an angle and a side. So you have to have two things to find a third. So let's look at, we have an angle, so let's say that this angle is 50 degrees, okay? And we have this side. So let's say that this side is 20. Now, with these two numbers, I can find this side, or I could find the hypotenuse, depending on which of these functions I want to use. If I want to find this side over here, what do I have? I have the opposite side, I have the adjacent side, I have an angle. So which one of these works? Opposite and adjacent. So I'm going to use tangent. So this equation to find this over here would be tangent of 50 opposite side I don't have, the adjacent side I do. So the equation to find this would be the tangent of 50 equals x over 20, so tangent of 50 times 20 would give me that side over there. All right. Now, if I wanted to find this side, then all I have to do is look at the, what I have. I have this angle, I have an adjacent side, I have the hypotenuse. So here's my adjacent. Well, I got to go up here with the hypotenuse. So there's a hypotenuse, and here's the adjacent side. So to find the hypotenuse of this, I have this, I'm looking for this, and I have this. So that equation would then be written of the cosine of 50 equals, I have the adjacent side, 20 over the x. So in this case, since a fraction is another way of writing division, I would take 20 divided by cosine of 50. And that would give me the length of this hypotenuse. Okay? All right. <clears throat> Now, if I go over to the other side, 
all I, like I said, all I have to do now is that this becomes the adjacent side and this is the opposite side and I can still use the same formulas to find those sides, okay? All right, now, what if I don't have the angle and I want to find the angle, all right? So let's say I have this side, so we'll call this side 30, and we'll call this side 15, okay? Now, if I have two sides, I can find the angle, okay? So what do, information do I have? I have an opposite side, and I have an adjacent side to this angle. This is the one I want to look for. So here's the adjacent, over there is a 15 is the opposite side. So in this case, I'd write the equation of tangent of whatever angle, I don't know what that is, equals the opposite side over the adjacent side. So that would be 15 over 30. Now, if I'm looking for the angle, there's another, you don't use the tangent button. Right above the tangent button, there's a tangent minus one. Okay, that's the inverse. So in this case, I would hit the minus sign, meaning that I'm looking for the angle. So I would have to hit the inverse button. So in this case, I would go 15 divided by 30 equals, then I would hit second function, inverse, and it would give me that angle right there. Okay? So in the calculator, um, I use a TI-30XA, if you're interested. So I would take 15 divided by 30, hit equals, make sure you hit equals, then you would hit second function, tan minus 1. And it would give you this angle. Okay? Okay, so let's do one more uh, example. All right, so in this case, we have the hypotenuse, which is 33.5, and we have the adjacent side, and we want to find this angle right here. So we come over here, and we look for the ones that we have, all right? We have the hypotenuse, so it's one of these two, and we have the adjacent side, which is this one. So then it would be the cosine of that angle, and then we would have the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So then it would be 30 divided by 33.5. So in the calculator then, to find this angle, you would put 30 divided by 33.5 equals, then you would hit second function cosine minus one, and that would give you that angle right there, okay? So using these three formulas, you can find the angles of a right triangle, you can find the sides of the right triangle. As long as you have two, you can find a third. You can find any of the other ones that you're missing, okay? So that's using trig functions for wherever you're using them for estimating um, in construction math.